Okay, so this is the start of game turn 10, which means we are halfway through the game. Nine more turns left, nine turns gone. And uh, you can see here the American front line, there's um, some movement up here. The uh, Americans are actually attacking the Hindenburg line, that's permanent fortification all along here. It follows down here. So they've got one more uh, trench line before open ground, but it there. Essentially what the Americans are hoping is to um, uh, destroy the end of the line here and then move it up uh, that way so to force, um, if possible, to swoop. Uh, you can't see that so well, I'll just turn that up for a minute. If possible to swoop all the way around here um, to take this victory hex, but they have to at least take this victory hex um, the point being is that over here in the east there's a victory hex here and there's one here which they're planning on taking. Uh, if they take both of those it is a German... hang on a second, yes. If they just take those two it's a German victory. If they take the, the one here then that will give them a tactical victory. Then any one, any more any one more, essentially one from back here, because um, they're, they're not going to make it all the way over there. Um, so if they take another one from here, then they will have a moderate victory. Um, so taking this and those two is the tactical victory they need. Any more is going to be great. Um, we, there's no way we're going to get a whole strategic victory. It's too tough and the German player was too good. Thank you, thank you. Um, well, <laughs> so far, don't know, the line could crumble. But um, can you see all the way back there? Not quite. Um, you can just sort of see teetering stacks in the distance. So Germans have got a lot of units to bring on in the next nine turns, probably as many as they have on the board at the moment. But, you know, they will go quite quick. Um, so the Germans have got those to bring on. Did I say Americans? Um, the Americans have only got essentially two more divisions to bring on. But what they have done is, back here you can see they've got three divisions in the reserve. Now they're planning on not, not wanting to use those at all. The point being, they've only got seven replacements left. The Germans still have five out of their ten. The Americans have seven out of their original fifty. They've got two divisions here which are going to take um, those final replacements and they want to leave these untouched. As soon as they can they will cycle them into uh, rest and recuperation ready for the final push which will give them the last uh, one turn of hasty attacks which they're probably going to need to cross the Meuse and take this and uh, one of those it with any luck. That's my... Trying to get a bit of... Here in here, sorry, I just there. Okay, so um, I have to be careful now because it's summer here in Italy, more or less. Well, it's still spring, but it's what well, you know, it's hot weather, gusts of winds can come in. I had a, a game blown away last year, so I, I have to get used to that because I'm you know, I'm not a native, <laughs> um, anyway. so here we are, here's the situation. Um, I hope you don't mind the sort of circle of light, it makes it a lot easier for me. Um, and let me just make sure we get everything in on this bit. Yes, okay, so what we have then, we actually have an American division available. And I'm going to put it, put it down here in the Argonne Forest sector, because like I said, we want to push through and roll up the line from here. And the Germans have three regiments to come on in the east. And that is very timely. I'll just zoom in on what's happening down there. So, see, there's a the victory hex. You can see, um, you probably can't see the yellow line, but that's the, uh, the American-French start line. They've actually penetrated the German trench system there. So that they're having to... Um, this is, uh, Victory X is soon going to get encircled probably, but they've been stacking units three high. Uh, and, and the Americans are only getting anywhere but using the artillery every single turn. Oh, I've got to flip all the artillery back. Well, I'll do that in a minute. Start, 
So, um, and also, obviously, um, the Americans are preparing to whiz over there, so these reinforcements will be gladly needed. Um, so, in fact, it's a toss-up. Do I put this here for rolling up that, or do I put it here for finally clinching that and moving on that? Um, I think we've got enough time to take that and that with half the game left. It's taken us four turns to get this far because we couldn't start until turn five. So hopefully that will be okay. And um, you might be wondering, so what happens, you know, on the rest of the line? Well, the thing is, is that you have to keep prodding at the German, even though you sort of have to concentrate your main thrust somewhere. You have to keep a, a heavy attack sort of along all the line to keep them defending the whole line or else um, you can see we've got one unit here, two regiments, one regiment, one regiment. Um, so uh, then over here there's two regiments, two regiments and machine gun group, two, two, two. So where, they def where they're defending heavily they put heavy stacks and you want them to kind of be spreading out so that you know they can't put stacks of three there that they just don't have enough units so you kind of have to keep attacking all along the line but that is the reason why the americans have taken almost 50 steps lost in the attack so far if we convert that into regiments that's four steps per regiment so what's that that's 10 so more or less 12 whole regiments destroyed so far in 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 days. Seven regiments completely destroyed. Did I say seven? No, 12 regiments completely destroyed in those many days. Okay, so we'll go on to the start of the turn. So I flip all of the, um, we put out those reinforcements like I just did, flip all the artillery back to their non fired side. Um, and at this point in the game, the um, Germans have no more gas attacks available. They've used up all the resources in that respect, and that is wonderful because they really blunt. You can't attack out of gas hexes, so they really blunt attacks. If you think, you know, the Germans just plot them down, it's like, okay, you're not moving forward in that hex or two hexes um, in your next turn. So uh, they haven't had that capability since turn eight. They've also been reduced to two barrages. So I don't know if that's airplanes or counter barrages, but or artillery needed elsewhere in the war. But they, their artillery is not so strong there either. So um, the Germans are slowly running out of resources. Um, at a quick guesstimate, they've probably lost about if seven. 21, about 35, 40 regiments. So their regiments are smaller or at least weaker than we have represented for the Americans. Um, that's a lot. But they still got more to feed in. Okay, so I'm um, just to remind you the muse cannot be crossed ex except behind the American start line. Americans cannot cross it, the Allies cannot cross it. Um, until turn 13, which is due to the problems of getting the right bridging equipment to go across it. So even where the bridges are there for the Germans to move across, they would obviously be destroying them um, rather than leaving them for the Allies. So um, that's why we're restricted here. Now the Americans are really happy. There was kind of like a pocket here, which meant their um, front line was very long. They've broken that pocket, which meant their front line could be um, shortened. And you can see they've got a fair few units um, in, well, in reserve now, um, just waiting for a chance to sort of break out. In fact, I should probably start shifting the line down here to accumulate more this way. Um, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this regiment, rather than down in the Argonne section, I'm going to put it up east of the Meuse, have it available there, and then we'll shift units down here for that envelopment. Um, so what else do we have to do? We have to spend replacement. So the Americans spending one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So they've got three left. And the Germans there had to just withdraw units from the front line to do that, which is getting a bit sticky for them at the moment. They've got two they'd like to put replacements in, but they can't feed them in. They're on the front line. 
a lot of interdiction, I guess, from airplanes and artillery. So they've still got five replacements left. Not able to use right now. Um, what else do we do? So now we're replacing gas. We haven't got any gas to, to replace anymore. And that is it. So we go to the American turn. So quickly move up 82nd Division here. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's easily done. Put the two strongest up there. Next one's there. These ones moving into place here. Fifth division. Let's move twenty-eight here. There's going to be attacks all along here, I think. So, oops. Flipped. He goes there. He goes there. Okay. These ones get to hop over. It's a shame we the Germans had to move out of the trench line here. But you know, that's what can happen. So we're moving this fresh division. Two of its regiments there. And we'll pull these ones back, put that one there, pull them behind just a bit. These are for administrative purposes for the command staff. <laughs> that's me. Um, yeah, that was annoying. Uh, yeah, anyway, so um, we had a hole there, but the Germans quickly plugged it. Artillery popped a hole at the end of the last American turn. So I think I got the strongest units in the front here, which is, not, as I say, we're not going to be able to cycle many fresh units in. So these units now more or less just going to keep getting weaker. So it's feeling a bit painful to be um, popping the strongest units down. Okay, so, uh, popping the strongest units on the front line, you know they're just going to be attrited from now on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, they've got six. Six movement because um, as the units lose steps, they actually lose movement capability as well, which is interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess you know it's like um, they don't have the force to sort of move around uh, on the battlefield. They could they could move quite quickly on. That should have done that on the road net. Um, you know that the Americans had five turns to sort it out. Yeah, I'll put that one there. And I'll take 37th out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is, though, flagging up to the German what our intentions are. So we want enough punch here to, if he completely weakens this, to punch through there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So. Okay. I think that's going to have to remain like that. And the artillery don't get moved at the moment. If they don't fire, they will. Okay, so over here. Um, now, like the French did a nice little, because the Germans had a, they had two hexes just covered by machine gun nests. No four regiments. The French noticed that and moved through. So the Germans um, retreated on the their trench line here. So obviously they're helping with the push on this. Okay, so I guess this isn't not actually a tower or anything like that, and neither is this. So I think they will simulate attacking further um, offensive down the line or connecting offensive for flanking attacks. 
Oh, unless there's like some geographical objectives just off the map, which we can't see. So now the trouble is these are in rough hexes with um, trench works. That's four left shifts. That is the worst sh amount of shifts you can get on the uh, combat table. So you do not want to fight through those three hexes, potentially that one and then round there. But then you're going to have to get to the Hindenburg line here. So that might have been a bit of a waste, but I suppose it's opened up this way now. They had to pull their whole line back because these ones, to join up with these ones, the Germans had to pull their whole line back, one trench line. So, in fact, what we're going to do is take advantage of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, so we're doing that. We're saying, okay, you can. We don't need that territory. Um, but thanks for this. <laughs> and then I'll move these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll be able to get there. Um. Good. That was a mistake on my part as a German player. I should have. I don't know. I but I didn't have the units. I didn't. No, I should have kept that line. But they'd broken through. That was a trouble. The French had broken through it, so I did. I had no choice. Otherwise, they would have penetrated and then started rolling up the flank. Okay. Um. So now we've got this American penetration, which is. Really, I think we come to the point. I'm going to put this here to remind me for the um, the Germans to start using their direct assault counter attacks. So, for an isolated position like that, surrounded, they could. Wait, it doesn't even need all that strength in it. Because we've been, the Germans have been making the American pay dearly just for that single. Victory point hex things. Once they get it, you know the Germans have lost so much men and material. Defending it costs them too. Uh, so what to do? I'm going to leave this one here. I think we're going to try and concentrate on this fellow. But now we've got enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So, for some reason, this is just a three regiment division. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Um, the nine tier. Okay, so I don't actually need a fellow there, but um, yes, I do because we want those three on there. And then, no, we actually we want it like this. Those two on there, and then these three on there. We really need more artillery there. So I might move some of this artillery, but it, it takes a long time to move the artillery. One, two, three, four. So two of them would only get about there in one turn there. So it would take two turns to get over there. I think they're going to have to do it with just the French artillery. I don't think we can afford to let up use of it over here. Okay, so that is the American movement. So let's do the combat. We'll start here. So uh, the crucial combat is going to be on this one. Um, it's tempting to go for that one, to isolate these. They will, won't be out of supply because they can chase it off the edge. So there's no point. Um, so we've got Eight points of artillery, we'll save it for there. So these guys are just going straight, that's ten. One, one, two, three, four. So that's four to one, down two, so that's two to one. Could be painful. You could actually get two, on a six, they will lose two, but 
on a one, two, or three, we will lose two steps, but got to go for it. Oh, <laughs> one. Okay, so the Americans lose two steps. And it's great. There's no retreats, no. Those advance have to come back. The um, Germans just lose one step, but makes that retreats and all that makes combat very smooth and quick. Okay, so the artillery, so we've got six, seven, eight on there, down one because he's in that trench. Got hold of five, that's two off, yes. So take machine gunners. Oh, I forgot to roll for the. German machine guns on that start. I knew there was something I was missing. Six, seven, eight, um, minus three, that's seven. So, but they only had four available. They got most out. So they could have actually had some more on. I think they would have put a couple here, knowing me. And another one there. And then one over here, okay. I think that's fair enough. Um, and I need to f take a loss from here. Am I going to take one loss? So I have to swap out one of these fellows. Let's take, reduce the weakest regiment from, from the 89th. It's going down to its second step. Step two, I should say. Okay, that's one of which I've lost. I've made some replacements. I lost three or four counters. I think I might have them amongst all my stuff, but uh, I didn't feel like searching for them. I wanted to get going with the game. So, uh, um, bum, bum, bum. so that was good. Unfortunately, we didn't get in the hex. Oh no, sorry. That was just the artillery attack, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so now we actually have, so I don't take that one off yet, let's just bring that one back so I count the factors correctly. We will lose one, so at least, um, so we've now got seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine to one, down two, makes that seven to one, that's roll of three. Yeah, so they lose two steps, we lose one. So that's one off. And that one's gone, so we can move in. Okay, superb. So if that's going to be as soon, the Germans will cover it, but... We're moving in. Um, okay, so that's the end of the attacks there. Uh, the French aren't going to try anything because they don't get replacements. Okay. So what are we doing here? Essentially we want to take this Hindenburg line hex. So we're going to bring the artillery to bear. That's 10 strength. Hindenburg line, it's two shifts down on the artillery because it's well protected, so they're on four six coming roll to four down. That's one, it would have been a two if it wasn't the Hindenburg line. Okay, never mind. So that's four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Yeah, so it's enough that we're on the eight to one column. So he's gone essentially, and we're just going to take one step last. Okay, we'll bring those in. Great. That was a good job. Uh, now I think we want these artillery on here. Because if they do the job, then we get get to move in without a step loss. 
for it, but do I really want, I think I actually want to go into there and send those guys to go into there. Do I, or are we just holding the line? No, because we want to use that artillery. So let's say, the trouble is it'd be nicer, yeah, it's nice because these can come back, it'd be nicer to lose one of those. Um, if possible, so we got enough strength. That's only four. So, um, so again, that's going to be ten. But it's not the Hindenburg line. So, in the second best column, only one step loss. But uh, that means essentially we're going to be in such a high column. He's gone. And we're just going to take one step loss, the Americans. Okay, that one's going to be it. And these ones can go forward. Good, so that was another good job. It doesn't always happen quite so well. Um, so we've got some more artillery in range of around here. So we take a step, I don't need to even roll for this because I know the outcome on the table. We're going to take a step loss, automatic step loss, and remove that. Okay, so I couldn't find. Let's see, where was it? Yeah. Step loss and move in. Okay. So we still got some artillery here. Those are all in range for an attack about here. And we do want that one because there's no trench line. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. And I've got my artillery sort of competently organised, so we have 10 points, which is your optimum. O nearly always going down because of trenches, but not this time. So but that's gone completely. So you see, then the attack can go forward without taking any losses, because the artillery did such a good job. Excellent. And so now, I just hear, um, there's a weak unit here as well. So those two, I think, are going to go on to that without artillery. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight to one. I rolled a two, which is we lose one and they lose two. Good. So we're in the open here, open terrain. Next stop, Hindenburg line. Hopefully we can roll these guys up. Oh, that one's a lovely weak one too. Did we use those? Just now? Yeah, they attacked, so it would just be four, five, six, seven. That he's got seven, so that's six to one column. I'm gonna do it. Yes, two losses. We lose one. That's worth it. Okay. And then now here, essentially it's going to be. Damn, the artillery doesn't have the range, so I'm going to have to fight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I really want to stop that one. I think I'm just going to have to move both his artillery up. So that would put these guys on their own. That would be four to one, three. Three to one column because of the river, which is not good. Two and th six chance of us getting two step losses. So I don't have to say that till next turn. But these fellows will definitely take a hit. So remove that. And 
Is that some units? Okay, I just have to be careful what I leave because you can take some advantage of terrain. Okay, so that's the American attacks. Any more I want to do? No, I can't. Uh, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that's it. And now on to the German turn. So that's like they don't get any reinforcements on this side. Fortunately, they have some here. So we're just going to plug the gaps like that. This one withdraws. That one goes there. So we've got a line of sorts. This is a bit in the open, but now I thought is maybe to go to the Hindenburg line because these ones will get destroyed in attacks. They're less likely to be destroyed so quickly there on the whole. Or we we are getting some reinforcements in the north next turn but they will move to here in the next turn so they won't be available um can they hold i think we need the space i think on the balance we need the space rather than no no we're going back to the hindenburg line okay how about there Because he's in a trench. That's, yeah, potentially could get some machine gunners to next turn to um, to bolster there. Um, I can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where was I going? One, two, ten. Okay, and I'm going to do likewise move this machine gun out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's coming over. Then we have the barrage. Oh, I need to do movement up over here. Um, just do some switching around to get start moving a stronger troops, stronger defensive troops this way. Do we want to do an eight to one attack? No, not yet. I'm so I'm gonna be saving that. We'll wait until perhaps we let the Americans string themselves out and then hit them with it. We do have to defend this out, so essentially that fellow's going to go in there, one there, just to stop them from moving straight in. And okay, more or less satisfied with that. Yeah, okay. Um, Artillery attacks, so I'm going to spend the six artillery strength on mm. on, a, on a unit in the open, so one over here because we're more likely to get good 
I've got any hits on it. I roll a one, that's nothing. That's always a nothing, even on the strongest artillery attack. So that is it. That is the end of a turn. You see, that was just over half an hour, so that's great. It shows you how quickly it can go. Oh, saying that, I forgot to move on these fellows. Um, okay, I think I'm just going to put them up here. In preparation, we're sort of saying that's a done deal. Are we going to be stronger to slow down on that one? Slow them down. Okay. And that is truly the end of the turn. So this is um, looking like a much better game than my first game, where I made a few mistakes, which gave a lot a bigger advantage for the Germans. We only got back this far. Um, just got about, about this far. The, turn 13, we are now on turn 10, and I called the game then, because we weren't anywhere near that project. So yeah, it's great. It's a big game. Uh, okay, I'll load this one up.